Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we got for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak that's set to release on both the Nintendo Switch and on PC on June 30th. And today we have a rather short video because we're going to be going over a couple of gameplay clips, brand new gameplay clips that Capcom went ahead and dropped, uh, basically showcasing Astolo's first gameplay uh, that we have seen for Sunbreak essentially, and also we're going to be going over as well our first look at shogun senator as well uh these are apparently tv spots tv commercials if you will that are going to be airing in japan presumably uh, usually we don't get to see these in the west only whenever companies put them up online and capcom went ahead and basically dropped them online as well so we are now able to see uh both of these so we're going to be cycling uh them in the background but i'm going to be going over the two specific things and of course first and foremost is the first glimpse that we get to see Astalos in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Now, first and foremost, of course, all you get to see is about a second and a half. These are super short because, again, these are from TV spots. It's just one specific scene from that commercial. So we're going to be looping it over and over. And what you do get to see here is his pounce left a wing is pouncing onto the ground. He looks pretty menacing, of course. He seems to be powered up, but not all the way. Remember that he does transform into like the light blue glow that he does get. That is not the case here. You also get to see that he is in the Shrine Ruins, so he is nowhere near in one of the new maps or anything along those lines and you also get to see that the hunter is wearing uh tigrex gx armor so that would be g rank tigrex armor set so that is basically the new version of that uh brand new armor set as well the second clip we're going to take a closer look at is actually the shogun senator first gameplay clip we do get to see again this one is extremely short because if you see the trailer they're super short and basically all we get to see is the hunter kind of like using one of the new silk bind attacks uh, that kind of like spins them forward into the monster essentially my guess is these are dual blades that the hunter is using we might have seen this in the trailer i don't quite recall he is wearing bishoten armor just normal bishoten armor and he's basically spike diving himself into shogun senator as he's kind of just got his claws open wide open just kind of taking it all in we don't necessarily get to see a whole heck of a lot more we certainly don't get to see the shell but we do get to see that is just a typical normal shell no diablo's head here there are a couple of things worth uh, talking about here in this trailer and this little short commercial that they put up. I am going to be making a separate video talking about the Citadel. Uh, I think it's a rather long and extensive piece that I've already been working on. I want to try to get that out either today or tomorrow, basically breaking down all the information that we have on the Citadel and more importantly, the entire topography of the map. And you get to see some of that uh, it showed up here in this specific uh, couple of clips. We do get to see a couple of resites clips for Garagom and Luna Garen as well uh, we of course get to see also a brand new clip for uh, the brand new Bishoten essentially the blood orange Bishoten and in it you actually get to see uh, the Girda's GX armor set on the left side of the screen there's like a hunter with like a light bow gun using it and you also get to see the Luna Garen presumably Luna Garen GX armor set as well we have seen a couple of uh, clips as well from the Luna Garen armor set already so that is the one that the hunter is using uh, fighting the orange um Bishoten as well. You also get to see in the little clip when they're fighting the Rathalos, uh, you also get to see the orange Bishoten armor set as well. It looks pretty much like the normal Bishoten armor, but now it looks like a fiery red kind of orange type of thing. It looks pretty cool as well. You also get to see the Insiglave as well. Um, other than that, I don't necessarily think I saw anything. There is that one clip where they are kind of like fighting a Tigrex at the end. It's a little bit blurry, but I think that is Mitsuzune GX armor set as well. I'm not necessarily sure if we have seen that before recently, but that seems to be what that is. Other than that, these again, rather short TV spots. Most likely they're going to be putting more up. Remember the first time that we did get to see uh, Kezu. It was originally in one of those type of TV commercials. So most likely whenever they reveal a monster, they're going to save those for one of those commercials. At the end of the clip, we also do get to see uh, one of the like the Palico and the Palamute like pre-order DLC. Uh, they just show very short clips of like what they're going to look in game as well. So we now actually have seen them in game as well. But that's about all the information that I wanted to go over. I just thought this was really interesting. We now have Astalos gameplay quote unquote clips 
and Shogun Senator. At the very least, we now know what they are going to look like in game. If you are brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.